All right, we secured permission from the manager, and we'll start with bread. We can always use more tortillas. Albuquerque, perfect. What else can we use? If they have English muffins, that would be great, but it doesn't look like they do, but we could use hot dog buns. Here we go, hot dog buns. What else do we have? I'm not real enamored of the, the bread that I have. It's um, sourdough, it's a little dry and tasteless. Sorry about the beeping horn, but it doesn't sound like that's going to stop anytime soon. Let's see. Oh, I know I need some mustard. I'm almost out of mustard. So let's see what we have here. Mustard spread, it says it's thicker and more spreadable. Let's try that. I've never seen that before. These are different. Let me see where these are. These are from El Charo, New Mexico quality. And Roswell, huh? I know I can use some more sliced cheese. Let's see what we got here. We got mozzarella, Munster, and there's some Swiss back here, a little Swiss. Just send it to the front, please. Just send it to the front. And we need some cold cuts. Horn is still going off. Oh, I think it just stopped. Let's see if they have more frozen food. They do. You know, I'm not um, real proud of this, but I, I eat a lot of frozen foods um, only because it's convenient and I know exactly what I'm getting in terms of nutrition just by reading the label. Um, take one of these. Beef and broccoli. And get quite a few of these because uh, I happen to know that I have a lot of extra room in the fridge this week. So what else do we have? They're not a huge selection. What else do we have here? Oh, Boston Market. about the chicken parmesan. Well, maybe the universe wanted me to get two, but I don't think so. Verdi chicken? I don't know if that looks that great. Cajun style chicken and shrimp? That looks good. Let me see. So I've got five. I think that that's about my max. Yeah. 
And, oh, you know, I saw some bottled water. Three forty nine for twenty four. That seems pretty good. When people see me, they don't see the camera. Will think the guy's a little off talking to himself. And always, it's a good idea to have a little bit of ice cream on hand. See if they have the small, small containers of ice cream. Well, this is pretty interesting. These little cups from Bluebell. Those are vanilla. Chocolate and vanilla, and what are these? Birthday cake. Let's try those. And I can control my servings better with these little cups, I think. We've got plenty of milk. What do we have down here? Soft drinks. We don't need soft drinks. See paper towels. Yeah, we could use some more paper towels. I think we're down to one in reserve. And how about four doubles? That'll work. <laughs> Dude wipes. Well, let's try that. I'm a dude. And we don't have, I usually use Smart Balance, but not the olive oil version. So we may have to do something else here. How about, I can't believe it's not butter original. Let's try that. Let's see, laundry supplies, I don't need any of that. Little scrubbing thing. Let's see, we got some bulk food. Cereals, coffee. This is a very well-stocked grocery store. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Very neat and clean. And we have You know what I'm looking for is real sharp scissors. Don't see any here. Let's see. Produce. Oh, and eggs. I don't need any eggs. I don't think I need any produce, but it's nice to take a look at what they got. It's not a huge selection, but everything looks nice and fresh and beautiful. Look at that. Very nice. Check it out.
There's the, a taste of the Southwest brands. Here is some apple butter, triple berry jalapeno jam, blueberry jam. Look at this mesquite and wildflower, pure, raw, unprocessed local honey. And they got big, big ones up here too. And we have some cat food. Oh, I realized I could use some crackers and some cookies. So let's see what we got for cookies. You know, I like these uh, small mint cookies. And they got all these different kinds of Triscuits. Try this avocado cilantro and lime triscuit. Well, they got the Chick fil A sauce. I wonder if they sell it on Sundays. <laughs> I think I've covered pretty much everything. Yeah, I think I'm doing a little repeat here, but another great independent grocery store. Very impressive. We even got a little place to sit down and eat. Let's look at what they have. Oh, this is all the hot food. Hi. I'm doing a little video with permission. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just doing a little video for my YouTube channel. Oh, what do you mean? And uh, it looks wonderful, though. Thank you. You got ribs. We're famous on some other guy's YouTube channel, too. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't remember the name. The guy that was on Second Street. This is, uh, here. here's one of my cards. It'll be up by tonight. It looks really good. And they even have a little place you can sit and eat your meal. It's very nice. I think I've seen those at my house before. good, Hi. So I'm going to give you guys five stars out of five stars. Okay. Quite a yeah. nice grocery right. store. Thanks. I really love it. Where are you traveling from? I'm okay. full time on the road. Okay, cool. And I've been in New Mexico since the middle of July. Wow. Where have you been so far? Um, up there, like Eagle Nest. I've been. Um, in in three campgrounds in that area elephant butte cool. um that's truth or consequences right mm -hmm. and i just came from i was at heron lake and most recently i was in sumner okay. um, and now i'm here to soak up all the history in lincoln county awesome. i'm pretty excited about that Anything insider information on anything I might not know about that I shouldn't miss? Um, well, this town right here is the home of Smokey Bear. Um, right, so when and it's not Smokey the Bear, it's Smokey Bear, Smokey isn't Bear. it? I picked up on that. And um, yeah, he was found as a baby cub at the Capitan Gas. So that museum is pretty cool if you haven't been there yet. I haven't, I just got here yesterday. Uh, um, there's Fort Staten. 
I'm over by that. I'm at Rob Jagger. Okay, That's cool. It. So uh, my grandma was actually born there when that was a running hospital. Uh, that's just like kind of family history. So online. there was a hospital at Fort Stanton? It's been a lot of things. Um, it was a mental hospital, a hospital, uh, army barracks. Um, during the time of like Trail of T Tears, that's where they had put the Apaches. Um, Ooh. Um, and uh, so there's like... That's, that's a dark like, part of our history. Yeah, so um, really, really interesting museum. Um, they say that, uh, and I don't know how much, well, I guess it could be true, who knows, but they say that um, Benito Lake, there was a town that was there, and then there was a flood that happened, which is why it was I've heard there. of that, and there's some foundations yeah. left and stuff. But that... actually, so there was a big fire about, when did the, like, the little bear fire by the way do you mind being on youtube um i guess not okay <laughs> all right uh but i guess uh that um how am i trying to say well, well if i let me ask you if i go out happened and then they drained the whole lake and it was like anyway you can go check it out is there stuff to see like remnants of the town not yeah. really no Are you okay about yeah it's really pretty out there now they, they did beautiful. they completely they just completely made it like after the fire it was good really it was nasty. they're still like we'll open it to fishing and stuff because uh -huh. they haven't done all of the testing and stuff necessary to make sure like there's no bacteria or anything but it's finally full again and it's so pretty i'll check it out thank you thank you Well, I'll tell you guys, I've never had a bad experience in a local independent grocery store in New Mexico. And let's chalk this one up. It's another great one. Um, so, <laughs> there's Dottie. Hi, Dottie. She looks pretty comfortable because the, the temperature is pretty good. Hi, Dottie. You need to stay while I put the groceries in, okay? We'll start with paper towels. Tuck that in there. And then we have the big thing of water. And hopefully Let's, we have ice cream, so let's find a way to kind of wrap that up in something, dotty, And maybe we can keep that cold because we got a lot of stops to make. All right, Dottie. Hi. All righty. <coughs> Smokey's Country Market, another gem in New Mexico. I found the perfect thing to wrap up the, the ice cream in, this big kind of thermal blanket. So Dottie, what do you think? I'm going to... Double, triple this up, maybe. And then we're gonna take that ice cream and insulate the hell out of it. What do you think? Think that's gonna work? I think it's gonna work just fine. And we'll stick it in here in the shade.
Okay, Daddy. On our way. See you on the next video.